hello folks let's go and take a look at the Google Cloud platform nothing in new year uh, been around for quite a few years I believe uh, but let's take a look at how simple it is to get your own server for I'm gonna today f show you uh, setting up a Windows server uh, it's equally simple whatever OS you choose but you'll see that it can be uh, up and running in no time uh, once you go to cloud.google.com you can sign up for a free trial too they give you a three hundred dollar credit you need to put in your bank account or credit card number but they will not charge you during the free trial as you see here let's get right into it you go to cloud.google.com after you put in all the good information you go to compute engine create a new instance I'm going to just leave the name as instance one here you can select the configuration of your server uh, since it's a free trial I would say you should do at least at the very least uh, two CPU it's $51 a month again the $300 credit should suffice I'm going to change the operating system to Windows Server 2012 change this to 200 GB Some further details here. The 200 GB is costing me eight bucks, and if I were to change this to 50 GB, you will see that it's costing me two bucks. So, again, free trial. Make your own choices. Just gonna go ahead and say create. See, that's how simple that was. In the previous screen, you probably want to allow HTTP and HTTPS traffic uh, depending on what your requirement is uh, and what you're installing on the server. If you're playing on it as a standalone server, once you remote into it, you wouldn't have to worry about all that. Once you create the instance, it'll start up on its own. You probably want to give it at least two to three minutes once you have created it or every time you shut it and start it again, you probably want to give it at least uh, two to three minutes. Uh, uh, somewhere in the notes I had seen you need to give it uh, some time before you can log in so let's give it that time also the first time you create uh, after you create your server you have to go in and create a Windows password I'm gonna do it for the default name that it comes up with we could reset it if you like and then say set make a note of your password you're gonna need it to log in you ideally want to save it somewhere close and uh, it's been to some three minutes or so since I created and started the instance and now I'm just gonna say RDP basically remote into it provide the password say okay continue there you go your service up and running ready for you to work and uh, you saw how simple that was I'm gonna quickly go ahead and uh, download a software on this just for the sake of uh, showing or demoing it here I'll go ahead and download uh, uh, I'll go ahead and download what Google Chrome uh, it's not going to by default allow me to go to any website other than the so-called Microsoft websites so what was that uh, that was trusted sites I guess you go to trusted sites and add google.com or whichever website it is from which you want to you know where you want to go and download your software from hopefully now this will allow me to go to Google Okay. Just say download Chrome. Download Chrome. Accept and install. While that's installing, a quick look at one other thing. Uh, I don't know where when you create it you specify this but after you create it you could actually shut it down uh, once maybe you can do it the first time before you log in I'm sure there's a way to do it when you create it but anyways uh, select the instance click click on the name click on the name of the instance here for example and then say edit 
this one here, the external IP address, you probably want to select uh, static IP. There was another five dollars or so charged on a monthly basis for this. Uh, what will happen with this is your IP will not change. Otherwise, every time you uh, stop and restart the server, you could stop the server to save money. I mean, to save the increase the billing. Every time you restart the server, it's going to change the IP address unless you select this option. Just give whatever uh, name you want here. Based on this, it's going to create an IP for you. But I'm going to cancel it for now. And going back to our server here. There, Chrome is almost ready. Uh, Chrome, and there it's go. Chrome is ready and installed. So just showing you an example of how you could visit any website, download whatever software you wanted, and have fun with your new server. Uh, try it out. Let me know. Thank you. Thank you for watching.